Okay, so sorry, this is turning into a two-parter, but there's other things that I want to get in about this topic and would rather do it all at one time. Um, let's see, what else did I find out? They gave me two pamphlets um, for financing options. I don't know if I'm going to go that route or if I'll just try and cough it up myself somehow. But anyway, information on financing. Um, I went over the cosmetic surgery... Um, financial profile and if I pay in a check I need to pay it three weeks in advance um, let's see what else here's some information on post-operative instructions fairly similar to any other um, post-op instructions you've seen discontinue the use of aspirin or aspirin containing drugs anti-inflammatories Motrin Advil herb remedies metabolize fin fin redux um, high doses of vitamin E and garlic 10 day prior to surgery. Um, you can take Tylenol. You might have to have pre-op lab work. Um, under specific circumstances, stronger main, pa pain medicine can be prescribed before surgery. Important daily medications like blood pressure should be taken the morning of surgery with only a sip of water. Should not have anything to eat or drink after midnight. Antibacterial soap like Physoderm, Dial, or Safeguard should be used for your shower the night before and the morning of your surgery. Remove all your makeup, nail polish, jewelry, wear loose-fitting clothes. Um, that You'll have to sign the informed consent. If you should experience an illness a week before surgery, call and let them know. Um, for liposuction, please make sure you have the appropriate post-op post-surgical compression garments. I guess they fit you with your post-op uh, or your, uh, yeah, your post-op uh, compression garments beforehand. That's smart. Um, and then there's a list of medications to, can, to discontinue. Um, talks about other services they provide like microdermal ablation, ultrasonic treatments, chemical peels, laser hair, hair removal, yada yada. The list goes on. Um, nutritional supplements they also sell nutritional supplements so if you think you need things to boost your um, nutrition etc etc um, let's see this is specifically about brachioplasty and it says as with other areas of the body aging and gravity have no ne negative effects on the upper arm this is also an area where fat tends to deposit in women in particular Excess skin is also seen in this area in, in people with significant weight loss. Loose skin and excess fat in the upper arms can be addressed surgically with a brachioplasty arm lift. This procedure is performed in an outpa on an outpatient basis in a hospital or surgical center. And I'm going to a hospital, so I was glad that he did that. said that. The area of excess skin is usually marked by having the patient center stand. The most common incision extends from the elbow to the armpit. The incision may curve or zigzag to minimize scar con contraction. Some fat is left over the nerves and the arteries for their protection, but liposuction is sometimes performed if needed. And um, he told me that he uh, there's all kinds of different incisions he can make and that he studied with numerous um, surgeons all over the greater Kansas City area and there's a few uh, incisions that he wants to avoid and there's a couple that he really likes so once he takes a better look at my arm he'll know what he wants to do. You may have drains placed postoperatively. Elevating your arms on pillows will help control the swelling and increase comfort. Swelling is mild to moderate peaking at two to three days after surgery. Dressings and a light compression dressing may be used initially. Later, a compression garment may be worn, worn as per the surgeon preference. Because of the level of the incision, visible scars may be a concern. Surgical technique and after-surgery scar care can limit the degree of scarring. Modification of the incision may be necessary to limit scar contracture in the armpit. Avoid sun exposure until the incision completely fades in color. Although rare, risk from this procedure include bleeding, infection, persistent swelling, nerve injury or numbness, skin or wound breakdown, and scar problems. Initial recovery takes one to two weeks, which I don't think that's bad. 
Lifting should be limited. Healing will continue for three to six months as swelling increases. And he said I could be off work anywhere from three to five days since I have a desk job. Um, another thing I asked him about was a tummy tuck procedure and if he wanted to discuss that now and he said no. He said he will not do a, a brachioplasty and a tummy tuck at the same time. He wants to do what he thinks is the safest way to do it and he's not for putting somebody out for eight hours at a time with anesthesia or however long it takes. So, And I'm perfectly comfortable with that. I, my arms are my priority. I want to get those done, see how that goes, and then in a year or so I may want to do my tummy. We'll wait and see. And then the informed consent paper. Um, I haven't signed that. I guess I will right before I get ready for surgery, but it's like seven pages long, six pages long. Um, talks about all the risks and everything that will scare you to death. Um, if you're a non-smoker, um, they ask a lot of questions about that. You need to re refrain from smoking for at least six weeks. Uh, the reason being that it's really hard for the skin to rejuvenate and heal good with the through the incision area. Um, if there's the more oxygen that there is for it to get, the better it will be. So you're not supposed to smoke six weeks prior to. Um, what else can I think of? I think that's it. Um, the surgeon I'm looking at was referred by my lap band surgeon, and it's with Monarch Plastic Surgery. And they have two locations. One is in Leewood, Kansas, and one is in North Kansas City, Missouri. And Dr. Paul Leahy, L-E-A-H-Y, is who I saw. I think he's one of the newest uh, members with their group, but he seemed very knowledgeable. And um, he's working in a, a group of, with a group of surgeons that has a good reputation. So... I'm interested in any feedback that anybody might have if you've had experience in, before with this. Um, I know that in my you know few months of doing research, I haven't covered everything or ran across everything I should know. So um, if you have tips and things I should really consider, please let me know because um, it's you know having surgery I don't take lightly. It's a very um, you know I mean it can be a life changing decision and. I've got four kids to think about. I just want to do the safest, um, you know, procedure that I can have done and still get it accomplished. So have a good weekend. I'll do an update this weekend. I will tell you the weight is going back down again. Um, I think I was just sort of jacked up after the unfill and um, the other medical procedure that I had, but there's been a dramatic weight loss this week. Um, I guess. We'll see what it says tomorrow morning when I wake up because it will be Monday and that's my weigh-in day. So have a good weekend, everybody. Bye.